Hello everybody, this is Valencia and welcome to my channel, Balloons and Business, where I show you the business of balloon and event decor. I live in the Inland Empire, which is about an hour away from Los Angeles. And just like the rest of the state, the IE is overpriced. I also work a job in addition to my balloon decor business. I am the mother of a three-year-old boy named Kai, who happens to be autistic. He is sweet, very smart, and lights up my life. However, he has a speech delay and several other issues which require daily therapies and special care. So, why am I telling you all of this? I have a life. I have commitments. I have responsibilities. I have bills. I have a family. And I'm pretty sure all of you have a life too. So that is why it's important when addressing your small business whether it be balloon design, event design, event planning, or any business, you want to make sure that you value your time and only deal with people that value your time as well. That means everything from the way you operate to your prices to the way you market yourself should reflect the value of your time. So what I'm going to talk about today is marketing and branding. And honestly, that is just as important as setting profitable prices. Because even if you get your prices you know, right, if you don't find the customers or clients that are willing to pay those prices, you're not gonna make any money, okay? So your marketing and your branding is very important. The goal isn't to get clients. The goal is to get clients that are willing to pay the price that you are charging. So it's not about the quantity, it's about the quality of the clients that you are reaching out to, that you are getting. So here are a couple things that I picked up in regards to marketing and branding myself in this business. Number one, relationships are very important. Marketing is all about making a connection with people. So when you get a client that is paying the price that you asked for, and they're not giving you any difficulty or anything like that, that's a good client, right? So you wanna retain that client. So you wanna make sure that you're demonstrating great customer service, okay? You're being attentive to them. You are making sure that you're keeping abreast and up to date on you know, any type of updates in regards to the event. You wanna make sure that you're confirming with them all the information. You wanna make sure when you get to the venue that you're on time, that you get the order correct. I had to learn that the hard way. Showing your gratitude for their business and keeping in contact with them. You cultivate good relationships with your current clients and how you retain them. Many of your business is gonna come from former clients. And you also wanna make sure that you focus on developing new relationships with potential high value clients. Notice the key word is high value clients. So event planners, event vendors, like rental companies and stuff like that, local businesses, organizations, schools, those who may either have the connections to get you to high value clients or they themselves have the budgets to be high value clients. You wanna make yourself known in your community. Start messaging some of your local event planners. Message your vendors in your area. You may never know. They may have a client who is looking for balloon services. You can go to hotels and ask to speak to the event planner there and make yourself known. Pass out your card. You can go to um, local bridal expos or things like that. Maybe even, you know, get a vendor booth for some type of large, um, you know, business um, mixer or function. Anything like that will help to develop those relationships. And that is one of the ways that you market yourself to the community. Number two, don't be afraid to use paid advertising. Facebook Marketplace is flooded with balloon designers trying to use free advertisement to get work. And while I'm not saying that there is no success in doing that, you got to look at the type of clients that you're probably going to end up attracting through Facebook Marketplace. Facebook Marketplace is kind of like Craigslist almost. People are looking for bargains and deals. 
So you do have to understand that the avenues that you choose to market yourself online can determine the type and quality of potential clients that you'll get. For a little bit over a year, I've been using Facebook ads to advertise myself to potential clients in my area. Most of my clients have actually come from these Facebook ads. It's an advantage of paying for Facebook ads is that it will put you in a higher ranking when people are manually searching for balloon designers in your area. Also, it will put you in front of a wider array of people than you would get through Facebook Marketplace. And it will increase the likelihood that you'll get a higher paying client. Some of the other forms of paid advertisement that I am using is my website. Also, I signed up for Yelp and I am gonna be paying the subscription fee. If you want to give yourself the best chance of getting higher paying clients, I would definitely suggest using some form of paid advertisement. Number three, you want to brand yourself as a high value business. In order to attract high value clients, who are willing and able to pay the prices that you're charging, you want to brand yourself as a high value business. Your presentation needs to be high value. When you're posting pictures on your social media, you wanna make sure you have nice, clear photos. You wanna make sure you're posting your best work. If you have to delete some old photos from work that you don't think best represents what you do now, go ahead and do that. I'm starting to do that myself. You wanna make sure that you stay away from words like bargain, deal, affordability in your advertising because what somebody perceives as affordable may not be what you perceive as affordable. You should advertise yourself as producing high quality work. I remember watching quite a few videos on TikTok where they use this sound bite from this one guy that said, um, don't come to me for the best prices come to me for the best work. And that is exactly what you want to do. You want to communicate high value. You want to let people know that when they're coming to you, they're going to get high quality balloons and materials. They're going to get great customer service. They're going to get professional interactions and they're going to overall have a pleasant experience. That's what you want to communicate to your clients. You don't want to communicate bargain deals. I mean, you're still going to get some people who are going to hit you up with uh, pictures like this and say, hey, you know, can you do it for $200? I mean, yeah, you're still going to get that, <laughs> but you're not going to get it as much if you start putting out the right language in your advertising from the beginning. Another way to communicate high value to clients is to improve your skills. And that's one thing I'm learning taking a face-to-face -face class, um, watching videos on YouTube. YouTube has a wealth of knowledge of many different super talented balloon designers to improve your skills and produce better quality work that will speak for itself, you know? Have you ever looked at a picture of a balloon design and said, wow, I know that's expensive. That's the type of work that you wanna produce. Communicate to potential clients that you are a high value business that you produce high value work number four investing in yourself set yourself up to attract hiring clients for example event insurance some corporate clients and some private clients who are going to be having their events at certain venues will not work with you if you don't have event insurance so getting event insurance will set you up to be able to appeal to those people. And it will also give you a competitive advantage because a lot of these other balloon designers are not investing in event insurance. Also, as mentioned before, having a website, if you're gonna get your company LLC, get that together, get it registered with your state, with your county, getting your contract together. You have to invest in, you know, I invested in Microsoft Office so I can make sure I can get my Excel sheets and invoices, or maybe you want to invest in something like HoneyBook so you can get your appointments and organize. Investing in paid advertising, just like I mentioned before, these investments will help you become more marketable and it will definitely give you a competitive advantage. So that is what I had to realize over the past year and a half. I've been having to get my stuff together more. So those are the four points of marketing that I wanted to discuss. 
This is based off of my experience as a balloon designer for the past year and a half. I know that there's a whole lot of other stuff that can be discussed in this topic, but I just want you to take away one thing, that marketing is crucial for the success of your business. Like I've mentioned many times before, I'm not an expert. I'm learning and growing just like many of you. I just wanna be transparent with my experiences in life and business and my journey in trying to do this full time. So if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, go ahead on and like it and please subscribe for notifications on future videos on balloon and event decor. So until next time, I will see you guys later.